Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to create this floating stairs that is mounted on the wall with handrail and glass handrail. Let's get started. To start, let's open up a new architecture template. Click on the wall. Any wall will do. Go back to architecture and click the stairs. And let's add in our stairs. Click finish. And then click modify to select align or AL for short. Click this line and then the stairs. Let's go to our 3D view. As you can see, we have our stairs and our wall. Next, we could delete this rail, so the left side rail, and we're going to keep the right side. Click on the stairs, edit type. Here, let's duplicate this. Let's put sample stairs. We need to click this stringer, the right support, and click none. So basically the stringer, the stringer is this part. So we need to the we need to delete that stringer on the right side. We'll keep the left support stringer. And then we're just going to change this. Click duplicate. Glass handrail. Press OK. Change the total depth to 1000. And select material. So this will be the glass. Press OK, OK, and let's look at it at 3D. So we have our glass handrail, and in this side, we're just going to retain the top rail, handrail, and we're going to delete all this rail that are un unnecessary, and then the baluster, which holds the rail. So now, let's click the stairs again, edit type, go to construction, run type, and then we need to select the box. We don't need the riser, so uncheck all of this. We don't need the nosing let length so put this to zero and the thread thickness let's put it at 100 select the materials i'm gonna choose wood i'll choose this cherry and press ok apply and ok and apply and OK again. So now all the stairs will be mounted on the wall. Next, let's edit this handrail. So select the handrail only. Edit type. Go to baluster placement. Click edit. 
you can see the preview here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of this and put it to none none apply and then ok apply and then ok so it will look like this next we're gonna delete some of this rail so select the railing again edit type rail structure edit and then we're gonna select here and delete everything click apply ok apply and then ok so now we only have the railings on this side and then the glass railing on this side and we all have our floating stairs that is mounted on the wall so next thing that we can do is we can create a bracket that holds the rail from the wall and we can also create some brackets that holds the glass handrail to the stairs so you can do that at west elevation or let's go to level one and create a section So let's go to the section. So here we could go to architecture and then model in place. Just choose generic model. And then let's create the extrusion. Pick a plane from the wall. Then I'm just going to make this as simple. So you can space this properly. I'm just putting this on random space. Click finish. Finish. Let's look at it at level one. So now we have the connection from the wall and up to the rail. Put this on shaded. And you can also do this for the glass handrail so let's go back to our section same idea go to architecture model in place generic model
extrusion selected selecting our plane so I'm selecting the wall and then let's just do this something like that and then copy and let's copy this multiple times multiple and then from this corner So you can make this fancy as well, as well, and it will provide more realistic to your renderings. But in this example, I'm just showing this to you guys. So I'm, I'm a simple extrusion will do. Click finish. I'm just going to select it from there. That looks good enough. And then finish. We can always you can always edit the extrusion from here. There you go. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.